What's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. I'm Ryan. I'm Kevin. With Making, Making Dreams, Dreams Realty. Realty. We are back with you once again uh, for a virtual open house. Yes, we're going to go through the, the home on 802 Silver Sage Trail in Middleton. It is an amazing home, isn't it? Yeah, if you've never been through a uh, close to a million dollar property, buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be awesome. Yes, and we're going to do this a little differently this time. We're going to try and make this a real live, yeah. like open house for you. So we're going to pretend yeah. that you know you you are coming to the house, yeah. and we're going to have some conversations yeah. along the way, answer some commonly asked questions, yeah. and you know, please interact with us while you watch this, yes. or email us later. You're going to get some info on the screen if you want to ask questions later. But hopefully, we'll answer those commonly asked questions, and otherwise. Uh, Let's get it going. Let's just get it going. Okay, yeah, first things exactly. first. I'm gonna I'm gonna like be the buyer, uh, and, and Kevin's gonna be the the selling agent. Okay, so so let let's just role play that way where I'm gonna be the one that's going to the open house and I'm gonna be asking the questions, and so we'll stop and kind of talk about the process a little bit as we walk through this. But first things first. Okay. Yes. Uh, these times call for uh, different ways of. Uh, Prepping, if right. you will. But we're not in the house yet. Do you want to wait till we house? get in the house? Okay, we'll wait till we get in the house. Okay, so you guys good. ready? All right. All right, let's do this. So first thing is, is we're gonna take a look. So Ryan's gonna be in his car and he's driving down the street and he's heading to the open house. I saw this uh, neighborhood uh, and we were driving through it a couple days ago, just kind of looking around. And then we drove by uh, this house on Silver Sage and it's got this sign in the yard. And, uh, and on the sign it said, open. Uh, this weekend and so we were like oh man you know we should go check this out at the open house and so uh, yeah you know we drove down the road here and I was like wow these houses are super nice and of course this one on the corner uh, just really caught my eye I'm kind of a big fan of a corner lot I like the fact that the front of the house has really good curb appeal and so here we go uh, we're at the house flying we're, in here yes it's an all brick house just a uh, gorgeous uh, entrance and you come in and Ryan is now coming into the open house and we're gonna meet and I'm gonna pause this for a second and we're gonna just yeah. chat because I'm gonna say welcome Ryan hey thanks uh, I appreciate it um, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the house yeah before we start just to be safe yeah, uh, we have some hand sanitizer here and some wipes. I want you to oh. take a wipe with you when you go through the house, so that this way, if you touch any doorknobs or anything, why don't you reach in and grab your okay, own? Okay, yeah, wipe. all right, there we go. Okay, grab and uh, that way you can wipe off the doorknobs as you go through and uh, anything else that you might touch. Okay. I'm gonna just use a little hand, hand sanitizer, sanitizer here. Uh, um, Kevin, you guys didn't see this on the video, but Kevin did give me a a, a low foot. Greeting, you know, the uh, oh, yes, we didn't shake know, hands, yeah. we, we, we tapped foot and elbows. Yeah. All right, welcome, all right, well, everybody. Uh, so, all but, right, you know, I went for the handshake, but he wasn't, he, he didn't go for that, so that's good. Real, and business. one of the things we're really missing out on when we do these open houses is to just yeah. have this encounter. You know, Ryan just came in the door, and I'm, I'm gonna welcome him and yeah, and, and ask you know, questions from my end too, from a listing agent, you know, what brings you in today? Well, you know, we're looking, um, we've uh, just moved to the area. And, uh, you know, we're uh, renting right now. And so uh, we're, I'm starting a job in a couple months and, um, you know, we're, we're just in the market right now. Okay, that sounds great. Well, I'm super excited that you came and uh, looking forward to getting to know you a little bit more. But I'm going to just back out of the way a little bit and let you walk through great. some of the house. We'll sounds touch good. base here in a little bit again. Okay. But just so you know, the first floor has uh, the master bedroom on it and an ensuite. It also has a half bath yep. and you're gonna see the sunroom and make sure you get out to the back deck. Mm -hmm. But we'll walk, you know, you go ahead and do that, but we're gonna do this virtually now. Uh, I see a, I see an iPad over there. Do you want me to sign in or? Yes, and normally we would sign in. So what we would like you guys to do is uh, give us a thumbs up on this virtual open house, <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel, yep. and, and please comment, uh, yeah. sign in virtually. So that would be your sign up here. And, yeah, uh, so go ahead. All right, so, yeah. You got it? Did you do that? Bye -bye. Very good. Okay, okay. great. Now that you've signed in, it's time to go through the house. Thank you All for right. reminding hey, me. Thanks, man. I'll, I'll circle back with you here. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to explain the house together so we're not doing the role play thing. Yeah, so we'll take a break from that. Uh, this house is going to take a while to walk through. Uh, it's a, a really large house, but um, gosh, a lot to look at. 
It um, is. It's fifty three over fifty three hundred square feet. The the above grade square footage is four thousand fifty. Right now we're in the, the great room with the really high ceilings that love the fireplace. You can see up to that upper course. level too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, once you get into the great room there, you can uh, see the railings, uh, the detailed work on that. Just a, uh, I like that it's an open floor plan, but it's not super open. There's, there's some. Uh, um, there's still some separation. Yeah, some separation there. yeah, great work with the drywall and the tray ceilings and the lighting. Yeah. 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 Right when you walk through the front door, the, the dining room was right to the left. This is what you're seeing now, and then I walked from the dining room right into the kitchen here and. Uh, wow, what a beautiful kitchen. Granite countertops, uh, beautiful range uh, area there. With the hood fan above, and, and you got a nice island with, you know, seating too at the at the island. Yeah. Uh, so just a beautiful uh, kitchen layout uh, there, and uh, beautiful. Uh, what I think that I noticed immediately when I walked into the house was the wood floor. Yes. Love that wood floor. A, a great contrasting colors yes. throughout. I mean, yeah. the way, uh, I mean, I just, I love wood floor and that was just really beautiful. Yeah, I really like that seating area there. That was really unique. Uh, we refer to this as like the sunroom. It's not a separated sunroom, okay. but it gives you a, a lot of great natural light and it's right next to the screened in porch. Yeah, so this walking out uh, here, who doesn't love a screened in porch? Oh, I mean, yes. especially in Wisconsin, yes. especially in the in the summer, it, right? When you got keep all those, those mosquitoes those, out. Those mosquitoes, I tell you what, man, they are just... <laughs> Nasty, nasty. So. And we're walking out here now onto the you know the back patio with the pool and the hot tub all built in, mm -hmm. and you know diving board. Don't forget the basketball hoop right there. Why I'm missing March Madness. I bet. I know are, it's April I, now. I, but. I, oh man, we're all missing sports. That's for <laughs> sure. But hey, you can still uh, swim and you can still do hot tub and uh, man, the weather's warming up and right. Uh, I love all the brick on this house, by the way. That's the one thing I noticed when I stepped back in the back was just, wow, look at the brick there. So, okay, yeah, well, walking back into the house here into the master uh, bedroom suite, I would call this. I mean, it's an absolutely beautiful room here. Yes, great lighting. And as you, you know, we're gonna pan up here and you're gonna see the double tray ceiling double with the lights, tray lights built in. You know, I bet you uh, uh, people don't know what that's called. Uh, that kind of ceiling. This the ceiling that you're yeah. looking at right here uh, is called a tray ceiling. You saw it in the dining room. This is a double tray ceiling. Yes, that's, that's pretty, pretty. It's pretty sweet. Impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And so right off this uh, master bed going into the bathroom here, uh, got a closet right to the left. Yeah, walk-in closet. Nice, good size walk-in closet. Now the house was built in 2012. Mm -hmm. It was a custom built house and uh, the carpeting however is all brand new wow so that is that's nice cool. plush carpeting that that's in there granite countertops in all the bathrooms i noticed uh, double vanity here yes um, it's a tile shower you've got the soaking tub with the the jets uh just a really nice tub and it's an, an interesting layout you're going to see as we walk through and you, you do get the separate toilet room yeah. which uh, i know uh, a lot of people like <laughs> you know, like having your you know that's privacy right. with a door right? yeah with the door on yeah. And then this walks into the office, yeah. so you can walk right around. So if you think, if you know, for all of you that are working at home now, yeah, that's true. You, you know, you can get ready for work and go right out of your bathroom from getting ready and, and dressed, hopefully. You say bye to bye, honey. We'll, we'll see you after work. All right, right, and right to work. Here we are. <laughs> We're at work. One of the things I loved about this room was the light that's shining through. Um, really really nice uh, uh, good size office you know you don't feel crammed in there half bath off the entrance is uh, well you walk into the into the front there and there's that half bath uh, that we're just kind of getting a peek there. and that so. was your your main floor so I'm gonna pause that for a second and we're gonna take a yeah. couple of questions so a lot of times we we, right. we connect again yep. you know, with the buyers. The bu Ryan, you've walked through the first floor. You know, what are you thinking so far? Yeah, well, well again, one of the things that I just loved, uh, Kevin Clark, uh, was uh, the <laughs> wood floor. I uh, felt like, man, it just really uh, stood out to me. Um, loved the kitchen. Uh, obviously, that fireplace. Uh, just, man, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker, like maybe most of you are, for a really great fireplace. And uh, boy, just the going up all the way to the to the ceiling there was right. was really awesome. Uh, I love a main level master. I, I think yep. having that separation. Uh, you know, if uh, uh, we don't have a bunch of kids, but yeah, it, uh, we do like to have that separation uh, at times. And so, 
uh, that's really nice uh, too. And, and a formal dining room, I feel like that's kind of gone away, uh, but to have that formal dining room for holidays, uh, things like that, uh, I loved that. So yeah, yes. the first floor is just, oh, and the, and the connection to the office from the master. Yeah, yeah well, that was pretty sweet. It's very cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you noticed the, the trim on there. It's an extra, extra wide, extra, extra tall, tall trim. I, I didn't know that. Wow. Very well done. I didn't done. notice that, yeah. Th this house was built, a lot of times people ask, you know, well, who built the house? This was a uh, classic Homes of Madison yeah. uh, built it. It was a custom built house. A lot of times people ask, sure. what else? So um, how's the roof? I mean, it was built in 2012. I'd imagine that the roof is original. Correct. Yeah, okay. roof, roof is original. And that is such a common question that we get. Now, obviously, with a newer home, uh, it still could have had hail damage or something, but this one has not. Sure. So it is a uh, original roof uh, from 2012. And the taxes. Yeah, uh, so the taxes are uh, probably in and the ballpark area of what Madison is and yes. you know, all that, right? It, it, pretty common in yeah. this here in Blackhawk subdivision. This, this particular home, the taxes uh, last year were 16800 okay. okay. So that's uh, right in the ballpark of what you would expect to see. Right, okay. So uh, the pool I was noticing out there, mm -hmm. is that that's all in working condition? There's no cracks in the... Yeah, uh, everything you know? is working in the pool. Okay. The hot tub, there's a couple things that are being worked out right now. Okay, and so would the seller take care of? Uh, we've that talked stuff? to them, and that's something that you know we could always have that gotcha. discussion. About. Gotcha. Yep. Well, great. Yeah. Um, I think I'll just go check out the upstairs. Yeah, check out the upstairs. This would be you know the kids' central probably. Yeah, three, probably. three bedrooms up there and, and another full bath. So. Let's go look at that and notice right. some of the uh, artistic uh, features too. Yeah, I love uh, going up the stairs here and seeing this like kind of, I don't know, that, I don't know what you call that. It. It, yeah, it's, it, cool. it's a built-in shelf built -in and then shelf. it has the lighting with it too. Yeah. And, and Do those uh, sticks and the bases come with a panel stand? I'm sure it could be negotiated. All right. Everything is negotiable. I would kind of like those. <laughs> that, would be, that would be pretty nice. Yes. I like this uh, open area up here. It's, uh, uh, it's a great view, isn't yeah. it? Just does, it doesn't feel... I, I like the open areas, but I don't want it so open. I do like that separation in this. Uh, this upstairs definitely makes it feel that way. It's a little easier to call the kids down for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, Bobby, Susie, time for dinner. Yeah, it's, it's almost a loft <laughs> feel to it. But, it is. You know, when the uh, kids are kind of maybe in their bedrooms, it'd be high, kind of hard to hear the dinner call. So. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And they're good sized bedrooms. I can go through some of the dimensions here. The master bedroom, just FYI, was 17 by 14. Well, oh, this uh, uh, bedroom I noticed has a vaulted ceiling. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, the, the bedrooms here upstairs are 14 by 12, mm -hmm. 13 by 12, okay. and 13 by 12. Wow, big, big walk in closet here. Gosh. Yes. And I, I think each one uh, we're going to find out here yeah. as, as you walk through. Uh, the bath, the bathroom is kind of in between. It is uh, somewhat attached to one of the bedrooms. It's a walkthrough. Okay. Into one of the three bedrooms. So this bedroom has access to the bathroom. I'm also still, has a walk-in closet. You yeah. See? I'm still acting like a buyer right now. <laughs> it's funny. Like I kind of like the, like oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Usually at this stage he's uh, on his own. Yeah. Right. We're, but we're doing this tour for you guys, so <laughs> enjoy it. Here's a walk-in closet with a closet in the closet. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's a closet within the closet, but I was thinking of this as a as a kid. I would love something like this. That would be really that would be great, cool. great, great, great hiding little spot. hiding spot, fort yeah. area. You know, not that I need to hide from anybody. I'm just saying. I just yeah. uh, <laughs> like I like those kind of those kind of things. Okay, so going yeah. into the bathroom here, and this is coming from that second bedroom upstairs yep. or the middle bedroom, and right. so you get to walk right through, and then there is a third bedroom uh, too. You also have the dual vanity. Uh, as well, mm -hmm. which is great. You got three kids uh, up there, so you have access from that one bedroom, which could be a great guest bedroom. Correct. Um, and then these two bedrooms. Uh, yep. And here's the third bedroom. That one's not a walk-in closet, but it's a really good size. Sure. Closet. Sure. So, are you just out, you know, looking at houses right now, or are you looking to move within the next thirty or sixty days? Um, yeah, uh, we're, you know, in the process right now. I, you know, like I told you, we're renting and. You know, I just moved here, started a job, and so we are in the process of looking. And so we're probably on a on a three month, three to four month timeline. Okay. And I would ask, so you were in a lease right now? Yes, we're in a lease right now. And when does that end? So we that ends in three months. Okay. And so we great. And when is the landlord asking you to either re-sign the lease or make sure. that decision? So we have flexibility within that. And so um, you know, it's up in three months, but. Um, he's a family friend, and so we're able to kind of 
figure that out. Okay, that's yeah. great. You're in a really good position. So excellent. Yeah. And have you got all of your financing in order? And this is where we're probably going to go next. Now we're going to talk about seen financing. Seen all the house yet, right? Yeah. And the great thing is, right now, you guys out there, you get to see the house, and yeah. you don't have to be pre-approved to see the house. Normally, we would ask you to be pre-approved to see a house like this. Yeah. And so you're getting to see it, do this virtual tour the way we're doing it, right. which is great for you. But if you're really out there looking to buy a home, you you should get pre-approved ahead of time. And so, and, and we have some lenders that we've worked closely with. You do not have to use them by any means, right. but we would give you some recommendations, especially if you're new to the area and you don't know anybody. Yeah, right. And that sounds like this is the case with, with Ryan and the character he's yeah. playing right now, yeah. is that he's new to the area. He's only, he's only been renting for a few months. So for sure. where do you bank at? Um, well, we bank with a local bank. Um, Excellent. Uh, do you have uh, that process started? Uh, obviously, it's new for us. Okay. Um, we're just kind of starting there. Uh, but I'd be open to any suggestions that you have. Um, okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, before you leave, you know, I'll write a few down and make sure you get them from me. Okay. I know you're going down to the lower level right now. Yeah. I, want okay. you, I don't want to interrupt you. So yeah. why don't you go down, have a look. You're going to love okay. what you see down there. Uh, any problems in the basement? No, you know none what? at all. No. no. No problems? No. No water seepage, anything like that? No, or? it's it's immaculate. It's, it's, it's really good. Pretty nice. Yes. Okay. Well, Absolutely great. So you're going to love that. Go look at it. Come back up and then let's talk about uh, some okay. potential lenders. Yep. Sounds okay. good. Okay. So <laughs> here we go. We're, we're going through this lower level. Yep. Yep. Let's talk about what you like about it now that oh, you're, you're no longer role playing. Right? Okay. No longer role playing. Back to Ryan here. Okay. Uh, again, I, I don't know why I'm a sucker for stone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the stone is gorgeous. Love the stone pillars. I. I love those features. It's just really, really cool. Guys, come on. Some of you guys are looking at a bar right now and you're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, did you, I don't know if you noticed the two built-in TVs up there. Yeah. I mean, it's like you're at a sports bar. Now, there's a classic Pac-Man game right there. That is really cool. I didn't get a very long shot of, but uh, man, here we go. Table for two. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, I, I could, I would really go for going out to eat. Look at those TVs built in. But this is pretty nice. That is so cool. Yeah, that, that rec room. Yes, and there's a large nice. storage That's room cool. right behind that door. Yeah. That's where the mechanicals are. Yeah. And then as we walk in here, you know, they have it set up as an exercise room. It could be another bonus room, whatever yeah. you want to make of it. But they've got it, uh, the owners do, they got it set up with uh, the spongy floor. Yeah. I don't know what that's, a rubber type yeah. floor. They got the big mirror and a lot of equipment. And, and again, things are negotiable, right? Yeah. I don't, I'm not saying they will sell them, but many things are negotiable. Yeah. I mean, I don't work out, but you know, I, I would start. <laughs> it looks good. Uh, I would start. Uh, full bath down here. Um, you know, this this bedroom that we're about to walk into, man, it's got this kind of like bedroom area, and then it's got a kind of sitting area. Um, yeah, so the bedroom shot, looks small kind of from here, but it's not. It's really long, and then it has a whole other area. So here I am uh, as the buyer again. I come back upstairs, and... Um, uh, I, I greet Kevin again, and I'm like, "Wow, man, that basement uh, is really cool." Do those TVs come with that bar? Uh, I believe the ones that are behind the bar do come with it, and I can look on my my sheet here. Uh, we didn't write it in as it's included. Uh, we can always write okay. things in an offer, sure. though. Okay. And so everything's yeah. negotiable. Does the Pac-Man game come with the house? Again, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I, you that, know. that takes me back to Pizza Hut, you know, when I was a kid, and uh, <laughs> I, I love playing that game. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I, f I felt like, you know, there's there's a possibility of my parents um, moving in with us at some point. Uh, <laughs> parents, are you watching? <laughs> so that would be a great area for them down there. It would, it would. And, that, you know, there's always things that you could do. Obviously, there's still steps there depending on your sure. parents. And, no, they would just stay down like there that. the entire time. <laughs> they would never leave. They would never leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a bathroom down there. There is a, almost a kitchen. Uh, and there's, but there's, there's a, still, there's a uh, exit to the garage. There is, yeah. yes. And you can get out the steps going and through that exercise room, there was another So door. we never have to see them. That's true. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm not <laughs> if you're watching. I love you. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but you could outfit steps too okay. with uh, lift systems and things. There's a lot of stuff out there for people yeah. if, if need be. But yeah, They've got a few more years of going upstairs. Though, that's so. awesome. And I'm not assuming. <laughs> there you go. Don't get mad at me either, Ryan's parents. I, I wasn't uh, going there. I, I'm just oh. saying for the masses out there that might have in-laws. All right. So if uh, I'm, I'm back up here asking those questions. 
Uh, and then I say, oh man, you know what? I didn't go out and see the garage. So, uh, oh yeah. yeah, let's go out here. There's also a laundry room back here. Oh, that's so you can right. Sit. Okay. So it is a uh, main floor uh, laundry. Okay. And so now we're going to look at that. And then it is a three car garage. So, so okay. So yeah, like a mud room area. Yeah. You know, let's go take a look. Garage, but here's the, okay. And sometimes yeah. we do walk through, you know, with, once we develop a report, we might walk through and say, yeah, here's the, the laundry room. And uh, decent storage for sure. You've got a, a, a sink there too. And uh, there are some of these lockers you're gonna see too once we go through the garage. But the garage, there's the uh, stairwell over there to the left. A uh, lot of good space. Um, the flooring in the garage is great. I okay. can't remember, was that the, um, I can't remember what it's called. The concrete? <laughs> is it just, I, maybe it's just plain concrete. It looks so new though. I didn't know if it had that coating over. Yeah, that hard stuff. That's yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, the coating. Gotcha. The coating. I just couldn't remember. I was going to say that. So it's just concrete. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> so, and when we come back in, then you have the, the three lockers. This isn't a Nike commercial, but uh, no, <laughs> we are not endorsing, uh, endorsing Nike. Um, yeah. And, and so then you can nice. see when you, you come back in, you're into the dining slash yeah. kitchen area. And so that's basically the house from the inside. Yeah. And so we're going to go out and take a look a little bit more at the neighborhood and the park and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go drive around. That's so, going to be on you. And I wouldn't go with them at this point. No, right? but I would, I would come back through uh, as a buyer. And, you know, that is the moment right there where the some of the, again, the questions are, are being asked. And that's what we would ask you as a buyer. Uh, and so go for it. Yeah, and so a lot of questions we hear, and now we're just going to talk as agents, and you know, we'll take it away from the role play for sure. But some of the questions we hear are things like, "Well, why are the sellers selling?" Mm -hmm. and, and so in this particular case, the kids are grown, mm -hmm. and uh, they're out of the house, and they're downsizing. Okay, and so they're going to build a, a newer house. Sure. And, uh, this is just they they love the neighborhood, they love the house, they just figure it is time. It's fifty three hundred square feet for them. Yeah, it's a little too much. And so nothing wrong with the house for sure. And, and so a lot of times people ask that. That's mm -hmm. what they want to know. And then some other questions they ask would be, well, every now and then we find someone who, you know, they might want to write an offer. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm interested in this. What do I do next? Yeah. And so how can we work with people? Yeah. You know, that's a good question. So yeah. if you were running the open house and you're not technically the list agent, you're sure. with Making Dreams Realty yeah. and Keller Williams, but you're not the list agent. So right. you could work with a buyer and become the buyer's agent. Let's yes. talk a little bit about that. So when somebody's walking through, I would just, at the end there, if they show interest, um, if they don't show interest, you know, I position myself uh, to be a value to them. And the way that I can be a value is to communicate with them post open house. And so I would simply ask, hey, so, uh, are you working with anybody right now? Uh, if they say yes, then typically what I do is I just kind of ask them, how's that going for you? How's that experience? And they're, they, uh, most of the time, everybody's saying it's good. It's a good experience. Yep. Based on that question, depends, that depends on how I can contact them. But here's, here's what, I, what I say if they say uh, we, are, we aren't working with anybody. Then I just simply say, would you mind if I touched base with you in a couple days uh, just to follow up? Uh, let me give you my information, and if you don't mind, uh, you you signed up before here, and I've got your uh, you put your your email in there and your phone number. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't put my phone number. Why not? Would you, let me just grab your phone number, uh, and and I'll just shoot you a text in the next couple of days, and we'll follow up here uh, on this, and and maybe I can bring some value into this process for you. Right. And so that's my response to people at an open house as they're finishing, as they're leaving. I want them to leave. Uh, you know, I used to say that's a church. You remember? Yes. I'd say, I want you to leave different than the way you walked in. Yeah. And there's no other way that I want that to happen. Uh, no difference than I did at church than I do um, here in real estate. You know, I want the experience to be a value to you that you walk away and go, wow, man, that was refreshing. You know, we hope after you watch this video that you're like, man, that was really insightful. I, right. Maybe you've never been to an open house and, you know, you you're, you're going to be in a place at some point where you're going to need real estate. <laughs> yes. Um, and so we want you to have a, a, a valuable, refreshing experience. And I've had a lot of people ask me, are you going to spam me? Are you going to spam? Listen, <laughs> the reality is, is that this decision to buy a house is 
is a huge decision. It is. And you can be represented or like if I were running the open house personally, now I'm, I'm considered the list agent of this particular house on 802 Silver Sage Trail. And so if you, you know, if we were having that conversation, it's a little different. I represent the sellers in this yeah. case. And so I can't represent your interest. Could I write an offer for you? Yes, I could. Uh, but if you wanted to be represented on your side of the, the transaction, we highly recommend doing that. And it's through something called buyer agency. And so we like to talk to our people at an open house just to explain because most people don't understand what is buyer agency. Yeah. And so buyer agency is every agent in a transaction has to represent one of the parties. Right. And so in my case, I represent the seller. So if you worked with me and you asked me, well, how much you know, would the sellers take? for this house. I, I'm going to say it's listed at, and this happens to be listed at $965,000. Ryan, on the other hand, could, if you asked him and you, you hired him to be your agent, and by the way, what does that cost? Nothing. It costs nothing. So you hire him to be your agent for nothing, which I is a great deal for you. For you for nothing. <laughs> and he will work for you and he can do research on homes in the Black Hawk neighborhood. Right. And he can talk to you about what he's found to be a good you know, reasonable price. If he thinks the house is priced too high or if he thinks it's priced too low, you know, one way or another, he's going to let you know that and he's right. going to answer your questions for your benefit, not for the seller's benefit. So it's totally worth it to you to hire a buyer agent, whether it's Ryan or somebody else. Yep. Now we would say choose Ryan or somebody on our team, yes. Don or Shelly, and, and definitely, you know, get them involved to help you out not only that, then he can work for you mm -hmm. and, and help you find other homes. He can search for for sale by owners. He can search for all the other homes on the market. Yeah. Because at the end of this open house, a lot of times what we hear is either, yes, I love the house and I'd love to make an offer. Or we hear the house is great. Yeah, it's I, just I, not a great fit yeah. for me and my family. Yeah, I'd like to maybe look at some other um Right. Other and, properties, yeah. And if you're not already working with an agent, then you, maybe you would like some assistance with that. Mm -hmm. And again, we're not there to badger you. We're there to help you. And again, our motto is, you know, helping people achieve dreams or yeah. partnering with you to achieve dreams. Yeah. And that's what we want to do is find out exactly what you're looking for. So if this isn't a house for you, you know, contact us and, and then tell us what house is for you. Yeah. What does that look like? What do you, you know, see in that house? Mm -hmm. What is this one missing? So we can start looking for that for you and come up with the, the most recent homes. A lot of misconceptions out there on, Absolutely. on a lot of these um, navigational things that are happening in this process. And I think you bringing the right people into your sphere uh, is crucial. And that's what I love about this team. Uh, that's what I love about this job is being able to be a value to people. Um, and so it's not about signing contracts. Uh, it's not about the commission. Right. It is about bringing value to you. And the more consistent that we we not just speak that, but we do that, the more we will start to uh, see, I think, it soften in our industry right. uh, where, where people are more apt to bring somebody with knowledge, training, uh, experience, uh, heart, <laughs> love <laughs> right. uh, alongside of them. Uh, to help them navigate through the process. Uh, it has been a beautiful thing since November for me. I, I know that if Don were here, if Shelly were here, they would testify the same way. Uh, they've had incredible experiences uh, with incredible people. Uh, and that's what this has got to be all about. It is. Yeah. We're, we're super excited to help others. And, and that's what we strive to do. Check us out uh, in all of our different social yeah. media platforms, whether it's on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, go to our YouTube channel if you're not you're there now probably watching yeah, this right. <laughs> and, and so subscribe and check out some of the podcasts too from the radio show we do the MDR home yeah. show and you can kind of get a little bit about where uh, our hearts are and, and how this all started and, and what we're about uh, and that may help you too uh, so I, I hope that this has helped and, and described it. Yeah. You felt like you were at an open house and we got a couple things to, to talk about still about the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm going to go take a drive. Yeah, you know? you're going to be driving heard, away now. I heard there's a park. There's an awesome park. Yeah, I heard there's this, like this really sweet park with maybe a, like a pond or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Pond, pond would be good for you. Oh, yeah. A pond is good for me because I love to fish. <laughs> pool, so. pond. Pool, pond. Pool in the house. Water. Pond yeah. would be good for you. <laughs> All right. So, good, yeah. good caddy. Show I want you guys to notice, like, <laughs> my experience with Kevin there. You know, honestly, what I just did um, has been my experiences with open house people. Uh, I have met... I have met and walked through to the closing table some pretty incredible people already from open houses. Uh, open houses are my favorite thing to do. So I know, I'm so really, really missing it. Really right missing now. that right now. So we want you to uh, call but, Ryan or call you know, me or call somebody else on the team <laughs> right. and, and have that conversation about what you're looking for and, for and sure. how we can help. That'd be great. We want to we wanna help you out with that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go take a drive now. I'm gonna. All right. Well, it was really great meeting yeah. you, Ryan. <laughs> it was nice to meet you too, Kevin. <laughs> Thanks. I look forward to talking to you. Yes, I'll give you a call in a couple of days. All right. Sounds good. So, all right. <laughs> Here we go. He's heading out now. Here we all go right. Now. So, what are we the, seeing? Here's this park that is uh, uh, just a walk away from the house, and uh, it's got a uh, jungle gym area there. Big gazebo. Yeah. You have some picnics, things like that. Uh, obviously, this time of year, you're not seeing the green grass, but it is gorgeous once the leaves come mm -hmm. in on the trees and the grass greens. Big area for lots of whatever you want to do with big family or whatever. Uh, I love big open parks. I mean, this, yes, uh, it's just really oh, great. it's great. Frisbee, you can play some baseball, yeah. softball, whatever you want to do. Sometimes it feels like some of these neighborhoods are just like they're just so jammed in together, and yeah. parks like this in the middle make it feel uh, really open. So here's the pond. Wow, man, that's pretty sweet. It is a great pond. You get lots of wildlife coming through, and what if it's you fun. kayak on that pond? I don't know. That's yeah. a good question. That is a good question. We can look up the Blackhawk subdivision. I'm going to call Kevin Clark and I'm going to ask him if I can. Uh... Yes, I'm going to look up the deed restrictions. So, <laughs> so you're going to see a couple other things come up. We're going to show you that you you can uh, get this if you are interested. We have yep. a, a large PDF of Southern Wisconsin luxury that features this home, 802 Silver Sage yep. Trail. We have other homes too that we have featured in the past. And uh, this is just a great book put together by our team. And uh, we could send you out a link to that uh, as an e-magazine. I tell you, it's a beautiful home. Uh, listen, there's no, no shortage of connections right now online to make sure that your needs are being met um, in the process of real estate. Uh, we are still getting stuff done. Uh, an incredible thing. Dawn, just this last weekend, yes. had two accepted offers, and she's got two new, two listings. new listings coming up. Uh, it is incredible. We had three closings. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, well, I think we had th three on Friday. We had two yesterday. It's been, uh, it's so been really good. Things are happening. I looked up some data today. That's what was on the uh, MDR Home Show podcast. So check that out. I talked about markets mm -hmm. uh, data. If you're wondering how COVID-19 is affecting the real estate market, uh, that's going to be up on the YouTube channel. It might be the following video right after this. If you just want to let it continue playing, yep. probably go right to that. Next video. Yep. Well, hey, this has been great. And uh, we are really looking forward to the next couple months here. Uh, we're staying safe and uh, uh, staying happy. And we hope that you guys do as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll Thanks, everybody. Later.